Welcome to Manic Autistic Superhero Chapter 15, True Gods. Sam's Office, Year 2032, Timeline 002. Manic, we can't keep stalling. I know! Every day our army shrinks. I know! We need an effective plan. I know! But if it's so easy, why don't you tell me? How do we save humanity? Manic, you've been to dozens of alt-Earths. Are you saying they won in every single one? Yes! Gasp! Warp! Bolt smack, baby! Ah! Where have you been? I don't know. Manic, this changes nothing. What could they possibly have to aid us now? Oof. Bolt, what's happening? Sheesh! <laughs> what? Hey, wait, you're a Manic! Gasp! There are other realities. How can this... I, I don't understand. My reality is doomed. Oh, well, join the club. Bolt, why are they here? Why are any of us here? Bolt! Listen, I can't be bothered by alt dimensions. I need to save mine. Right, Sam? Sam? Uh, what's going on here? Sorry, I froze time for everyone but me to ensure I only spoke to me. Time freezing? That and time travel. Time travel? I'm dimensional travel. What? Have they fused with you? Whoa! Fusing with him was enough of a shock. We need a plan. I have an idea. What? When I fused with him, I got a rush of inspiration. Fuse first, then plan. Why don't we hear Bolt's idea first? Yay, my idea! Warp. Manic. Bolt. Manic! He's gone again! He came back before, and he'll come back this time. In the meantime, Viter, you owe me five dollars. Ah, this isn't null space. This isn't null time. Welcome to the null zone. Warp. Right on time. Bolt, you're already here. Take the next jump alone. Yippee! Yay, adventure! Warp, what's going on? Well, wait. I get dimensional jump? Yeah, eventually. Where, where are we? And when are we? Location, San Joe's Old Town Police Station. Year 2018, winter. Timeline 001. Ooh, who are you? They are me. Ooh, you're a madman. Let me ask you, Ares, do you like living in her world? Wouldn't you rather be free? Don't toy with me. You'd have to be able to change history. And no one can... Can... The here, this is yours. My knife. Feel every heartbeat. And only those of beasts. Yes, it was a gift from your brother, right? How do you know that? He told me. And now, I'd like a moment with myself. Year 2021. Summer. Timeline 001. Sam, Manic was not your tulpa. I was. Manic, I have become your tulpa. It came time to visit father. I love him, but he's a little much. He gets annoying after a while. And it's not him that's making me nervous. It's my grandparents. This is really stressing you, huh? Compared to knowing my Tulpa was Sam's Tulpa. Maya, Mija, it's been so long. Seeing my grandparents who call me by birth names and birth pronouns is way worse. I know, but maybe I should just not bring up gender. Even not bringing it up is difficult. But talking about it would be worse. At least I can swim in Grandma's pool. You love your family, and you know they love you. Why is this so hard? Ugh, we should ask the therapist next week. Awesome! Swim time in Grandma's pool. Oh, hey, the step-cousins. What did she throw? Ah, diving toy. Splash! Ah, they found Dad's squirt guns. Is dealing with children a fair price for swimming? I can deal with sillies. Besides, to relax in water like this is worth the world. Yo, watch me dive! That feels more true than it should. It's because... Cannonball! Water is at the center of everything. Splash. Well, yes, chemically, no. At the center of our war. On the Alt-Earth, this would be a forbidden luxury. I can't even imagine how difficult that must be. I can run a simulation of such a world. Such a thing would tell me how they survive, but not how they feel about it. Tin, tell me, what do you know about the third sister? 
I know as much as Shadow, so not much. Why are you so concerned with knowing her? Watch me, watch me! Because Shadow wants to kill her, but he doesn't really know her. Splash! She's quite the puppet master, so I do understand the desire to be free. But who is she to her planet, to her people? Shadow and Vider are t thinking of strategies to kill her right now, by the way. Ugh. Yeah, hard to believe he's cool with just killing a world leader he doesn't even know. What? Do you wish you could feel that way? No. I'd never want to kill with or without reason. Meanwhile... Yuki has control over the mirror dimension, so we can't vi visit there. But there's still a lot we can learn from the past of our dimension. First, neither of you know yet the seven immortal powers. I know about the immortals. Wait, I think I think they're talking about something else? When Yuki cursed humanity, she had no idea superpowers would be a side effect. She grew jealous of these powers, so she stole them. What? When Tashiro was revived, the curse was put on humanity. It affected all f future births. And the first birth after the curse, seven tuplets, all had traits and powers. I can take you to see them. Year 3754 BCE. Timeline M087. This is the day of a great battle. A battle lost to time. Seven siblings, all cursed with traits and powers. On this day, they would lose their lives. And they knew they would, because they were facing a god. She had technology so advanced, even by our standards today. But why did they fight? Yuki came after them. Yeah, but why did they fight? Were, what were their motives? Was it just for survival? Listen, and you may find their motive. As the future looks on, our dreams of a great beyond are gone. If all we have is here, now, and future, tear open sutures. Humanity will never accept you as their ruler. You'd agree if you knew her. So wait, the humans lost this? They seem in control here. Yuki wanted to see the full extent of their powers, so she let them come at her with everything. She altered the curse, so duplicate powers would never appear. But her goal had been to stop them from appearing at all. All future powers will be an evolution or descendant from these seven powers. Yuki had heard of these powers, but seeing them for herself was different. Rage and jealousy. She wanted these powers for her forces. Dad's apartment, summer 2021, timeline M001. Z -z 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 -z. Where are you going? Down the hall. But where's the hall go? I don't know. Wait, where am I? My hands? This is a dream. Music? My dream wants me to walk down the hall, but this has infinite hallway feel. Yep, no matter how far or fast I go, I'll never get to the door. Wait, something is changing. What is this? Oh, help desk. A little obvious, but... Okay. Wait, there's a line. Tell her I refuse to wait. Shh, don't cause a disruption. But I have another dreamer to address. You can't be serious, dropping a conversation with me for a random dreamer and a cursed one at that. Who is that? Do you need help, friend? Oh yes, where am I? Right, of, of course, you're right on time. She will see you both now. Both? Whoa, what is this? Foolish child, I'm 30. Get on your knees, fool. You are in the presence of a true god. Hush, child. Don't call me, child. I'll, ca I'll call you adult when you grow up. Whoa. Hello. You have big dreams, huh? Ideas like peace and freedom. Ma'am, if I may. Oh, look, and you brought your pet. No, uh, no, ma'am, I'm sentient. You keep running into these two, huh, Yuki? Enough of this, mother. Tell me why you have brought this mortal here. This is my scheduled meeting. Oh, Yuki, I brought them here to show you. 
what it takes to make gods from mortals. You were Talix Tupa, and now you've found a new host in the body of someone you've met before.